Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I got these stands that I ordered in the mail. I got two stackable for a 55 gallon tank and two for 10s. So I already have one 55 gallon tank that does not have a stand and I have three 10 gallon tanks. So I'm gonna put these together and show you what it looks like. Uh, move some things around the fish room. Uh, real excited to get these in here and let's, let's get after it. Just built the first one. So this is one of the 10 gallon stands. Love it. It's literally so easy to build. There's this top frame and then the exact same thing on the bottom and then four legs. You literally just put the legs on and put the top. Uh, the 10 gallon is actually very sturdy. I have one of these for a 29 gallon. It's a little wobbly, but this 10 gallon is a lot sturdier, I think, because it's smaller. Uh, but it's also new. My other one's a little bit older. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these together. Literally, it took me maybe four or five minutes to do everything from opening the box to what we have right here. So this is going to be real smooth, and uh, I should have all this set up by the night. The only thing I'll need is the rest of the tanks and uh, hook up my air pumps that have the right amount of uh, connections for all these. There you have it, guys. All right, so we got all four built. I've built many things and bought many things with uh, my fish tanks and everything, but by far the easiest and most affordable thing I've purchased in a long time, if not ever. So I'm not even trying to promote these stands, uh, but there's so many pros to them and they're plenty sturdy. They just slide right on them. There's no screws. The thing I like the most about this is if I ever move or I have to drain my tanks and actually move all these things to another location, it's not going to be, this will be the easiest part about it, which moving tanks is never easy, but these come apart. They don't take up a lot of space. And so far I'm very happy with these. Uh, let's get these set up in the fish room. I uh, have things measure out where I want them to lay, but I think once I actually start sliding them around and putting them in spots, I'll get a better feel how I want to do it. If I want to go along the walls, if I want to have them come off and make like an aisle, put some back to back. Um, we'll t take a look at some of the options there and see what I end up doing. Alright guys, we're in the fish room now. So here's my current setup on this half of the room. So you can see the tanks on the floor, uh, the 55 and the 29s. Uh, I have an old reptile rack, well not old, but one I'm not using right now for geckos and some fry hatch outs. So these are all gonna go along this wall, that corner in this wall. Uh, and here's my tanks I've shown before. Uh, I built all this rack system myself. Uh, painted white, just two by fours, is mounted on the wall. Goes four high across. So very happy with the setup. I think it looks good. It's very stable. Uh, very cost effective. Um, honestly, now I'm thinking about it, that wood for everything and screws and maybe even paint was probably cheaper than these iron stands. But I value my time, and I didn't want to go through that process again. At least not in this room. I think they're too tall to do around the whole room, at least for right now. I think these being a little bit lower on this side of the room, because it's got a lower roof, is going to look better. It's not going to feel too cluttered in here. But I remember buying the wood. I don't know if it was all of it. Maybe it was just these uh, 20 gallons of these, what's that, 4x4, four four, 16 tanks. It was, I think, $157 for all that wood. Uh, I just remember that number. The last section there, I built it a second time. That may have been for the wood for everything. I can't really remember to be honest, but it was under 300 for sure. These were maybe like 225 for everything. Uh, the 10 gallon stands were like 34.99, and the 55s, I want to say were 74 or 84. Um, I'll look it up later. I wrote, I wrote it all down, but it was around 225 free shipping. I got it within a week. I built it within maybe 10 minutes. So. The time it took me to paint these and measure these and do everything for these tanks was worth it, but there was a lot of man hours put into that, and that's also money in my opinion. So I value my time. These are great, but these are awesome also, so I'll have a good feel for both of them, but let's start putting things away. I already brought them into the room and moved some stuff off the floor, which I always forget to videotape in between stuff. So. Trying to do this before I do everything. I took a few pictures, but let's move these around and let's get it all set up. Hmm. 
Here you have it guys. So I have all the sponge filters and airlines hooked up. Uh, it's not perfect yet. I still have a couple of things out that I want to get put away and uh, make it all more presentable. But all in all, I'm very happy with the way it's turned out. So as you can see over here, I have my 255 gallons running. Um, I have central air system on my tanks behind me. But what I'm running up here, I already had purchased in the past, is two, I believe a 300 Tetris splitting off. So it gives me 16 outlets, eight and eight. And these 55s over here running, I have a bunch of Happy Rams. Uh, they were in a 10 gallon aquarium just a couple days ago. Moved up to 55 and they're a lot more active. I think they're gonna hit a big growth spurt in this tank and do very well. Um, I have some things out. I didn't want to have to have anything over here, but I have a uh, very large spawn of German Blue Rams. There's a bunch of babies in there that just became uh, wigglers and they all hatched probably over 100 to 200 fry in there. They'll be free swimming the next day or two. I'll start feeding. I have a few of these hang on containers here, which I can put uh, fry in there or female live bears. I want to have, have babies. All the rams in there. Down here is still empty. Uh, the floor tanks are a little bit cooler even though I heat the room and I have fans running. Uh, this is still empty. I'm letting it cycle a little bit because I put a new sponge. The sponge to the right is old, so I wrung out a sponge filter in there and I've been running for a few days. I'm thinking about doing live bears, but I also may put a heater in there and put these uh, ram spawns in there as they start growing to help the growth. Uh, I have the 10 gallons on the bottom. The one I have some artificial plants I've had sitting around, kind of just playing around, but I think it looks kind of cool. And also if I do platies or guppies in there, I give lots of hiding places. And if I need to clean, I can just pick them up and grab them, and I can just vacuum the bottom without having to worry about having a substrate. Over here to the left, I have some guppies. Um, up top, I'm going to do uh, ram pears, so I have the fake plants and some flower pots ready for them. I'm going to pull those guys off. Here I have my blue diamond discus. I had three in a 20 gallon aquarium, which I'm actually going to do a highlight video on the discus. I got it from a friend, his name is Mitchell. Uh, really cool guy uh, didn't have the time for his discus anymore so he let me uh, take over and take care of him and I've had them for months now and they're doing really well uh, a few of them didn't do so well but the ones I have now are doing they're really doing well here I have my 55 gallon angelfish tank I've had these guys since they're uh, just little wigglers so they're probably going six to nine months old I'm not really sure their exact age but they're all big, they're starting to mature. Um, I'm thinking about selling these guys, but I'll definitely keep some pairs, and I just like the way that they'll school up in these numbers. Always super hungry. There they are. Uh, over here I have some zebra danios. Waiting to move these guys out. I don't know if you can see them. I see a couple of them. They're a newer thing I've been breeding. Not very hard to breed, but uh, anytime you're going from lime bears and egg layers to kind of like egg scatterers, something different to take on. Hopefully I could even do like neon tetras in the future because those are always a big seller. Uh, a lot harder though, but I figure I'd start somewhere. Down here I have just a pair of uh, young mollies. So you see the one male Dalmatian, and there's another one in there somewhere. They're helping get this tank started. Uh, I'd like to just grow them out, they're like my F1s. So to the right here I have the ones that I purchased and I got from a, another breeder I know, but they're not my actual fry that I bred and grew out. So now I'm trying to raise the babies up. I always like working with my own strains because they just do that much better because they get used to my water change routines and the feeding schedule, etc. So these females are getting real big. They're dropping fry here and there, but they also eat them sometimes. So the babies that I grow out usually do better. And then last but not least, I have my top 29 gallon tank hard to see because the mirror behind but there's a bunch of uh months a month and a half old trim blue rams in here as well so rams are back in the swing of things they're breeding really well and with the larger tanks now i think they're gonna do much better because i would get huge spawns and grow them up for a while and if i didn't sell them in time uh keep them in tens and twenties or if i didn't call my numbers down a lot they kind of just take over the room. So I think these tanks 
uh, without even breeding anything in them. They're gonna do really well for holding tanks until I can grow these fish out big enough to sell. And also I think it makes the room just look a lot nicer. So backing up a little bit. These extra eight tanks added to the fish room I think are gonna help move a lot more fish, keep them healthier, keep the workload down on me because I can uh, go to my once a week water changes whenever I have tanks that are very crowded. I gotta do two, three times a week just to keep them healthy. So this is gonna help me stay on that once a week schedule. And now that I have more tanks, I could probably split into doing like half them Friday, half them Saturday or something like that. So I'm not spending three, four hours in here on a weekend, I can spend an hour and a half and kind of split it up. But so here you guys have it. I'll let this kind of wrap up the series of the new tanks. And I hope on doing a new fish room tour in the next month or so once I get these tanks fully stocked to get the fry containers out of the way get the cords hidden make it look a little bit nicer maybe add another light to that ceiling over there have some more shop lights for um, just viewing the fish but thanks for watching guys and more videos to come so stay tuned